Some birds are cute. Some are elegant. Some are dainty and gorgeous and serene. But some, some are truly lethal and actually among some of the most fearsome animals out there. It makes sense, they did evolve from dinosaurs after all. These are the deadliest birds on the planet. Number 15. Giant Petrels The giant petrel is a big old seabird, having a massive 7 foot wingspan. It also has a particularly weird technique for flying, literally running on the surface of the water until it gets up enough speed to take off. But its water walking abilities are where the potential divine comparisons end. Like a massive garbage disposal unit, giant petrels will consume some live prey like squid and krill, but they won't turn their bills up at any old trash and generally prefer their food to be dead and decaying. And that's where you'll often find them gobbling up bits of dead penguins, dead seals, and rotting whales. Oh, and they're pretty good at chasing behind fishing boats to hoover up any dead or discarded fish, occasionally getting into a pickle by eating the bait off a hook and getting drowned in the process. There are a couple of different species of these big birds. The southern giant petrel, which, you guessed it, lives in the southern hemisphere, specifically Antarctica. And then there's the northern giant petrel, which lives, no, not in the northern hemisphere, Einstein, actually somewhere in the southern oceans to the north of the Antarctic area. Whichever one you happen to be looking at, they're still massive and really aggressive and like eating really gross stuff, literally barfing on everything, including people that come too close to them. So it's no small wonder that they're also known as stinkers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Hooded Pitahui Don't be fooled by this little bird's innocent appearance. The Pitahui is actually poisonous, the only bird on the planet that's known to have toxic feathers. The guy that discovered the bird's secret weapon didn't realize that he had a lucky escape. After catching a Pitahui in a net, he touched his face after handling the birds, and that's when his lips would go numb. Alarmed by the discovery, although really he should have probably been practicing hand washing hygiene, he then sent some of the bird's feathers in for analysis. The results would show that the little bird was full of batricotoxin, a toxin that's so deadly in fact it's literally what's used to make poison arrows. The only other place that this toxin is found is on the skin of poisonous dart frogs. It seems as though the pitahui don't actually make the deadly toxin in their own bodies. They get it from their food. These birds are particularly partial to the meliorid beetle, which contains the toxin. The birds, although unaffected themselves, by eating the beetles make themselves toxic to other would-be predators. Their bright shock of orange feathers may actually be a natural world's warning label. So I guess the moral of the story, don't lick the bird. Or at least the poisonous ones. Number 13. The Cassowary now, if there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, it may be this one. I mean, just look at it and tell me it's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of the world's most dangerous bird, and that's a very good reason for that. These crazy looking flightless birds can kill you with one swipe of their foot. Seriously. Cassowaries are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird, if you want to breed them, you're gonna need a permit. The blue-faced helmet-headed cassowary can grow as tall as 6 foot 6 inches, weighing it at 132 pounds. So if one of these attacks, it's not exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon having three toes on each foot, and one of these toes is essentially a dagger. It's been recorded that cassowaries have literally eviscerated humans with its knife-sharp toenail. Going to the sea. 
so efficient it can easily sever a limb from a person, and this is one dangerous toe. These birds need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida would be attacked by his own cassowaries at his Florida home. He was so badly injured, in fact, by the attack that he then passed away. Turns out, these modern-day dinosaurs can and might just kill you. Number 12. The Snowy Owl the awesomely majestic snowy owl has some serious credentials. Its favorite food is lemmings, and one single owl can snarf down as many as 1,600 lemmings in a year. Crunchy! They weigh between 3.5 pounds and 6.5 pounds. A full 4 pounds of their total weight is actually made up of their feathers. They're very feathery indeed, it would seem. Needing all of these thick and fluffy feathers to keep them toasty in their freezing Arctic habitat. So, these birds are clearly super menacing to lemmings, but what else makes them so deadly? Well, the snowy owl is a territorial creature and gets really, really mad if it spots anyone or any creature getting too close to its nest. So look out if you happen to blunder into the Arctic tundra. Not only will the uncomfortable chill get you, but a snowy owl may think that you're a threat. Known to literally dive bomb humans and even pick a fight with the odd Arctic wolf, the snowy owl is one serious bird. And would you just look at the size of its talons? Number 11. The Emu A bird which literally had a war declare against it. Sounds totally cuckoo, but this is actually what happened to the emu in 1932. The human population of a district in Western Australia were concerned that the emu was running wild and messing up the whole place. And that's when they brought in soldiers, actual soldiers, to deal with the delinquent birds. And that, well, didn't really go so well. Turns out that firing machine guns at emus really isn't the most effective way of killing them. The emus simply outran the attack. After three failed attempts, the humans had to surrender to the birds. So really, who in this scenario were the bird brains? The emu is a massive, flightless bird that mostly hangs out in Australia. And although it doesn't usually get armies coming after it, it does still make a nuisance of itself. They are the second largest bird in the world, only the ostrich is larger, and they can grow up to six feet tall. Although they do have tiny, useless wings, their legs are long and very powerful. A running emu can actually reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. So I wouldn't really go making one angry if I were you, because they get pretty aggressive and can easily chase you down. Number 10. The Mute Swan in the UK, most people have heard that swans can be pretty feisty and have been known to break arms when they're particularly cross. The swan, though, is even more dangerous. With its proclivity towards limb snapping, it just might suggest that this bird has a murderous streak. Mute swans are famously the property of the queen, although if they belong to her, how come she isn't a more responsible owner? These crazed birds have been marauding around the countryside, starting fights and breaking bones for crying out loud. The big bird's not shy either when it comes to protecting its nest and defending its territory. In fights between male swans, it's common for the aggressor to actually push the other swan underwater. They're also very hungry, needing a lot of food to keep them going gorging on vegetation and preying on animals like fish, frogs, and even their spawn, mollusks and insects. Swans are usually responsible for displacing other native species, and their greedy feeding can actually damage habitats from overconsumption of the vegetation. In fact, in 2012, a man in Chicago would be attacked by a swan while kayaking. The bird first capsized the boat, then, and this is the crazy part, the man attempted to swim to shore, but the swan prevented his escape and ultimately drowned him. So although they're beautiful to look at from a safe distance, the mute swan is not to be messed with because it's one bad bird. Number 9. The Crowned Eagle 
awesome, majestic. Crowned eagles are the most powerful of all African eagles. Their incredible strength is part of what makes them one of the deadliest birds on the planet. The crowned eagle is a super efficient and deadly precise killing machine, and its flight is almost completely silent, so you'll never hear them coming. It will rarely waste energy in a hunt, actually preferring to sit in a tree in a prime spot like a watering hole just waiting for its prey. When it has an unlucky creature in its crosshairs, that's when the crowned eagle is simply going to drop down and break the prey's spine with its long, powerful talons. At least it's quick, I guess. So if you think that's deadly, you should see what happens when a pair of these birds gets together. They have a pretty scary kill routine. The male eagle will fly high above the ground, making a noise in order to attract the prey in the trees below. They love to eat monkeys as well. Then, while the unsuspecting monkey is looking up the male, the female swoops in and grabs them. Then, if their chosen lunch is too heavy, they'll just meet on the ground and rip the creature apart and carry its entrails and pieces back to their nest, storing some of it to snack on later. Number 8. The Ostrich This is a big, big bird. Ostriches are actually the largest bird on the planet, and a fully grown male can weigh up to 330 pounds, measuring up to 9 feet tall. Also, oddly enough, they have only two toes on each foot, and they boast the biggest eyes of any land-dwelling creature. A dazzling and fluttery eyelashed two inches across. All the better to see you with, my dear. This big-bodied bird is way too heavy to fly, and they've been known to develop muscular legs in order to be extremely fast on land. running over short distances at top speeds of about 43 miles per hour or longer distances at 30 miles an hour. This is one of the ways that the ostrich continues to thrive with such massive numbers, because they just mostly outrun their predators and hang out in gangs, making their protection skills even bigger. Safety in numbers and all that jazz, you know? Oh, and they also have a super cool secret weapon. They have no teeth. But what makes the ostrich deadly isn't really in its mouth, it's a single kick that's so powerful it can kill a lion. Maybe they're the Bruce Lee of the savannah. Number 7. The Australian Magpie This dangerous bird is not to be confused with the European magpie, because the Australian magpie is totally different, totally insane, and literally wants to peck your eyes out. It's a stone-cold maniac. So you really don't want to mess with this bird. In fact, don't even ever get near it, because they'll attack you just for walking by their tree. The dangerous Australian magpie even has the rarely phased locals concerned enough to stay out of its way when it's nesting. People cross the street in order to avoid the bloodthirsty blighter, and the bird is really in the personal space. If it thinks that a human is even wandering too casually close, it will literally dive bomb the unfortunate victim pecking at any visible skin and going for the eyes. A real-life terrifying nightmare in the Australian suburbs. This magpie has to have huge warning signs posted all around wherever it nests, warning the passerby that there are swooping magpies in the area. It really does mark its territory. In fact, it's such a menace that it gets people to do it for them. Fiercely territorial and pretty mean to boot, the Australian magpie will peck you as soon as it will look at you. So I'd read the signs and stay out of the bird's sight, if you value yours, that is. Number 6. Herring Gull A science fiction horror story that's becoming a very real-world threat to human life on this planet. The herring gull may look like any old bird, but it's carrying something that may be the literal end of the world for humankind. A superbug has been discovered that's proving to be completely resistant to any and all antibiotics that are known to exist, and it's hitching a lift around the world on the back of the lowly herring gull. Drug-resistant bacteria has been found in many places around the world, but what's most terrifying about this kind is that the herring gull not only carries this bacteria, but it's also pooping it out all over the place. 
E. coli bacteria found in gall droppings can be carried freely by the birds across borders and continents, plopping into water supplies and spreading around wherever the birds are free to go, which is basically everywhere in the world. So don't go and hole up in your bunker just yet, because it's not doomsday. Not quite, in fact. It's still a mystery of just how the drug-resistant superbugs make the leap into infecting humans. They do, but it's very rare, and scientists are working to figure this part out. So for now, we just need to keep an eye on the herring gull. Watch where you sit for that picnic, and wash your hands, you filthy animals. Number 5. The Red-Tailed Hawk the most commonly sighted hawk in North America is a big bird that surely gets around. The red-tailed hawk lives in a wide variety of habitats from open country and prairies to woodlands and even on the side of the road. The adaptable creature also has started to move into cities, hanging around on utility poles and hunting the urban environment. Considering that the bird can and often does catch prey that's larger than itself, you know, things like snakes and carrion, there are some city-dwelling creatures that might need to watch their step. It seems really weird that although the red-tailed hawk can spot a tiny mouse at up to 100 feet or 10 stories high, they can't actually move their eyes. <laughs> what? That's right. They have to turn their whole head in order to change the direction that they're looking in. You can't have it all, I guess. These magnificent birds of prey are also amongst the meanest sounding birds on Earth, because their screeching wails are actually what sound recording techs use whenever you see and hear a big old eagle in a movie. The red-tailed hawk makes such an aggressive and ear-splitting shriek that it's the noise of choice to make the most impression on the big screen. While the golden eagle or American bald eagle are hogging the limelight, it turns out that the red-tailed hawk is the professional bird voice actor of the world. They should be getting royalties. Number 4. The Great Horned Owl The Great Horned Owl will eat anything, literally anything that moves, and even sometimes stuff that's been dead for a little bit. Gross! Although not the biggest birds of prey, the horned owl can weigh up to about 5 pounds. I don't think that makes them feeble, though. The bird can carry up to four times its own weight, so although they usually eat rabbits or rats or hares, they're more than capable of picking out a skunk or a raccoon. Perhaps a small dog. Some more insane great horned owls have even tried their luck and caught ospreys and hawks. Their silent attack is their best weapon, that and their incredible crushing power. A creature caught in their talons is squeezed with a spine-crushing 28 pounds of force. So I reckon there's good reason for pets to give the owl's hunting ground a wide berth. You should also know that even people need to watch out. There have been reports, particularly during winter nesting months, of great horned owls attacking people if they stray too close to the owl's nesting and hunting grounds. A 12-year-old boy would be cross-country skiing in a Montana state park when a great horned owl thought that he looked a little bit shifty and then silently swooped in. The big bird of prey flew directly at the kid, talons straight at his face, and floored him to the ground. The boy was fortunate though, didn't receive a talon in the eye, or even worse. And as it turns out, he actually wants to be an orthonologist when he grows up. <laughs> Seriously, no joke. Number 3. The Barred Owl if you were to ask any child in the world what sound an owl makes, they'd most likely tell you, who, who, unless they're French, and then it's, oh wee, oh wee, which is still owlish, but not quite what we're going for. Anyway, funny noises aside, you know that the classic owl has a classic sound, a cartoon owl sound even, and that's where these guys come in. The Barred Owls. They look the part as well, with their big round faces and their starry eyes. So, are these creatures really deadly? Well, I guess that depends on what sort of animal you happen to be. So, let's have a quick flyby and find out. 
Barred owls seem to have a pretty bad influence on the spotted owl population in North America. And we don't mean that they're taking them joyriding and bunking off to school together. Moving in on the spotted owl's turf is actually threatening the existence of the native species. So I guess that's pretty deadly. Otherwise, the usual owl snacks like rodents, reptiles, small birds, and even fish need to watch their backs. That's not to say that humans are 100% safe. The barred owl isn't going to eat you. Well, probably not. But owl attacks on people do happen. It could be that you're hanging around too near to their nest, or you might even make a mistake with your snazzy winter hat, or even your floppy ponytail that they'll see as prey. So the next time you take a jog through a woodland, or to be honest, anywhere, these birds do live in the city as well. You may just be in the barred owl's crosshairs. Oh, and you won't even hear them coming because they're utterly silent in flight. Number two, harpy eagles. This is one fierce looking bird. Its extraordinary hooked beak and mad hairdo make this big eagle look a bit like a cross between an owl and an eagle. The harpy eagle is named after the harpies of Greek mythology. You know, half-human, half-bird monsters that are the personification of destructive storm winds? If I were a harpy eagle, I'd feel a little bit peeved about that comparison, though. Mythical harpies are generally considered ugly and were believed to make the most horrific noises. So, to call someone, even a bird, a harpy is, well, downright rude, and you wouldn't want to upset one of these things. The bird is massive, known to be the heaviest and strongest of all birds of prey, with speeds up to 50 miles an hour. Harpy eagles also have a grip that's so powerful that they can literally crush their prey to death with a squeeze of their talons. <laughs> Ouch! The preferred meals of this colossal bird include some pretty big animals as well, like sloths and monkeys or even deer and iguanas, along with snakes. Snarfing down some of this weighty meal before dragging the remaining of its carcass back to the nest for later. Mmm, delicious. Number 1. Harris's Hawk well, I don't know who this Harris guy is, but he may want to get his hawks under control because they're out there causing mayhem. Harris's hawks are not only equipped with the standard bird of prey combat gear, you know, a pointy beak, sharp talons, death grip, super speed, the usual. These dangerous birds also have something even more deadly at their disposal. They hunt in a pack, like winged wolves. Like that bit in Jurassic Park where the raptors work together to hunt their prey. It's blood curdling. You can only imagine what it's like to be a little rabbit in the American Southwest when a hit squad of Harris's hawks decides that you're dinner. Harris's hawks generally work in a gang of five, and with an arsenal of sophisticated methods, they always catch their prey. Their favorite and most simple technique is to all attack at the same time, basically guaranteeing that if one of them misses, there are four others behind them to make the grab. They also have other hunting styles like a tag team, where they take turns chasing until the prey is too exhausted to keep running, or they may even play with their food a little bit before capturing it, each having a go at flushing the creature out of its hiding spot before the final assault. So, I don't know. I hope it doesn't really make anyone feel hawkward, but five of these hawks against one little tiny wabbit doesn't really seem like a fair fight. I certainly never knew just how many birds that there were that could kill you as soon as you look at them or they look at you. Which one do you think has the best or even worst deadly weapon? Let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff coming up on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time.